Welcome to Mastercopy, the web app that aligns your artwork in seconds. I created Mastercopy to help artists use digital projectors to transfer their work to Canvas. If you've ever used a digital projector, you know it's really hard to get the image aligned with the canvas. It doesn't matter whether you move the projector or you move the canvas. Either way, you're going to be spending some time. Mastercopy takes a different approach. Instead of you moving the projector or the canvas, Mastercopy moves the image. All you have to do is drag the corners into place. In this brief video, we'll take a tour of Mastercopy and I will demonstrate each of its features. So here's my desktop. Before starting Mastercopy, I find it's helpful to disable the computer's sleep mode. There's nothing worse than being in the middle of a complicated tracing when the screen goes blank and your laptop shuts down. Let's press the Windows key. I'll type sleep and we get power and sleep settings. And we'll go over here. When plugged in, turn off the screen after 10 minutes. We'll just make it never turn the screen off. And sleep after 30 minutes, we'll change that to never. Now we don't have to worry about the screen or the computer shutting down while we're tracing. Now we're ready to start Mastercopy. Mastercopy is a web application. This means there's nothing to install. It runs in your web browser, just like any other web page. You can use Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, or on the Macintosh, you can use Safari. Let's use Chrome. And I'm gonna browse in guest mode. And now we'll type in the URL to Mastercopy. HTTPS Mike Hopcroft dot github dot io slash master copy. And here it is. The URL is a little long to remember, but there's a link for you to click at the end of this video. The first thing I do after starting master copy is press F11 to go into full screen mode. I do this so I don't waste any pixels on the taskbar or the title bar. This way I have the entire screen available for my art. So let's load an image into master copy. I'll press the L key, which will bring up a file dialog, and I'll select Vermeer's Milkmaid here to load. Now one thing to realize about Mastercopy is your artwork stays private. Files are loaded into your web browser, but they never leave your machine. The next thing I'm gonna do is press D to enter demo mode. This just overlays an image of my easel against the wall to simulate what we would see if we were actually projecting. Now we have a number of options for aligning our image with the canvas. I'm going to use the R key to rotate the image 90 degrees. I can also use the mouse with the on-screen UI. The center of the circle here translates, and I can just drag and translate the image over. The outer ring here rotates and scales. And of course, I can use the drag handles to just line up the corners. Now that the picture's aligned, if I leave the mouse alone, the drag handles will slowly fade out. This way they don't get in the way with tracing. Sometimes when you're tracing, it's helpful to have multiple copies of your image. Let's load a few more. I'll load this high contrast version, a line drawing version, and lines overlaid on the original image. Once I've loaded these images, I can cycle through them with the arrow keys. Right arrow, right arrow, right arrow. I can go left arrow and cycle through and see them all. The ability to load multiple files really helps out when you're tracing photographs. For example, you might have three versions of the photograph um, at different contrast levels, or optimized to see detail in the darks and optimized to see detail in the lights. If you were tracing your original artwork, you might have a painting and then a line drawing that you've done of it, and you might want to switch between the two. Now, sometimes when you're tracing, you actually want to get the image out of the way so that you can see what's actually been traced on the canvas. And for this, we can use flashlight mode, which is activated by either the W key or the B key. The W key makes the screen white. The B key makes the screen black. When you go into either of these modes, you can get out just by pressing the key again, or you can press the space bar to go out of the mode. Let me show you what these look like outside of demo mode. So I turn demo mode off, and I'm going to go into the white mode. And here the projector just acts as a flashlight lighting up the canvas so you can see what you've drawn. Here's black mode. In this case, the projector just gets out of the way. So we've seen how to align an image when the artwork is squared up and occupies the full image frame. This works great for source material like the Vermeer image, but what if you have a photo of your own artwork and it's not squared up? Maybe you took the photo with your iPhone and the artwork is not perfectly level and it is canted off in one direction 
and it has a different aspect ratio than the camera. Let's take a look. So I'm just going to unload the remaining files and I'm going to reset the transform. And now let's load this poorly aligned image. So this image is kind of what you might see if you'd pointed the camera at an angle at the piece of artwork and taken a picture. Let's go back into demo mode. And now the difference between this image, the main difference, is that the drag handles aren't actually at the corners of the artwork. So I can slide this drag handle over to align up the corner, but instead of placing the drag handle on the corner of the canvas, I have to move it in order to place the corner of the artwork there. Now watch what happens when I move the second drag handle. I can get its corner aligned, but now this first corner is no longer aligned. Let's try to align some other corners. This one, the upper right corner, I can't even get it into alignment because the drag handle would have to be off the screen. And same goes when I move the upper left corner, the other corners move around. Now what we really want is to have the drag handles actually be on the corners of the artwork, not on the corner of the image. And we can do this by pressing the control key and dragging the drag handle and attaching it to the corner of the artwork. So I'm just gonna drag, press control and drag the handles onto the corner of the artwork. And we'll get the last one here. Once the handles have been moved, I can now drag them into place on the corners of the easel. And notice that the drag handles stay in position while I'm moving one of them. So I can place a corner and it'll stay there no matter what I do to the other corners. Now we're perfectly aligned. If you want more information about MasterCopy, there's actually a link on the help page. Let's just unload this image and we'll go out of demo mode and we'll reset the transform. There we are. And there's this hyperlink at the bottom. And if we click on it, it takes us to a page with information about MasterCopy. There's a section that has the videos teaching you how to use it and we'll have more videos soon. And MasterCopy is an open source project. So we have a link to our license and to the source on GitHub. And of course, contributions are always welcome. So that's it. That's MasterCopy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy MasterCopy.